little rocket that has vinegar and uh, baking soda. <laughs> Sometimes I look up and think maybe I could go up there one day or could I somehow see what's up there. There he is, skateboarding in outer space. That's him. He's my hero. He went up in the space and I had to ask him if he had a, he saw any meteorites. As a mom, I like being able to support my daughter in activities. We were at our local toy store at the time and saw the dolls. And the line is more focused on what the doll can do, take part in, rather than the way it looks. Abigail was having fun playing with her first Lottie doll, which was the Pony Racer. And uh, I just decided on a whim to email the Lottie company and so I emailed them and thanked them for making such a lovely doll that my daughter was having so much fun playing with and ended up talking to Lucy Follette and she asked what, uh, what else Abigail was interested in and I ended up talking to her about astronomy and dinosaurs and all kinds of things and, and they decided that they were going to make a stargazer Lottie. We developed Stargazer Lottie in association with the European Space Agency, but the original idea came to us from a really fantastic girl in Canada called Abigail, and together we worked with her to really create something that reflects Abigail's ideas of what other kids would like, and really what gets her excited about all things astronomy related. I got to choose what she came with, what went on her box. Here is her awesome telescope. She can look up. Stargazer comes with the planets, which every child loves to put in order. It's like a little puzzle. And she's wearing clothing that a child would wear to go outside and look at the stars as well. So she's a natural companion. I'm just really grateful for the opportunity for Abigail to bring her vision to life uh, with the support of the Lottie Company and to keep sharing her interest in astronomy with other people. We are super excited to announce that Stargazer Lottie is going to be the first doll in space. She is travelling to the International Space Station together with ESA British astronaut Tim Peake. We can't wait for Lottie's greatest adventure yet. Here's Galileo. So maybe one day I will go and I will see many stars, even more than I saw from Earth. And I will I'll just say to myself, wow, how lucky am I to be living? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. On the shoulders of Atlas, the SS Deke Slayton II orbital ATK Cygnus spacecraft soars toward the International Space Station. The U.S. gun close up control. Patriot roll program is begun. Body rates are good. 